Hi there, viewers and gamers alike out there. And I do believe Batman does look good in the black suit of the of the Dark Knight trilogy movies, doesn't it? Chicks take the suit. I look good. Yeah, got it. But I do believe it's time we go punch crime in the face. This is our come to win days. Hi there, viewers. I am Leo Wolverine, your game commentator and founding member of Leo's Let's Plays Alliance. As we are going to conclude the final chapter of this episode of the Dark Knight movie of Christopher Nolan. So, let's continue our story in progress, shall we? Okay, so, what? So now that Harvey Dent is kind of... How do I say this? Um, try to went to a talk with, um... Um, Robert Maroney, you know, uh, Carmine Falcone's relatives, or his son, I, I don't know, whichever works, and so for that, and, you know, that's going to, uh, things are going to not go so well, and, and so he, he was on this, he, he's had, he has himself strapped, and everything, that, um, and then Ro Robert Maroney knows something what is going on with the Joker's blackmail thing and he says but but it's not but he did but he knows that what the officers know that what and happened to Rachel who was responsible for taking the ones that were trying to take Rachel Dawes to safety and and Harvey Dent says he couldn't hurt his chances I'm sure a man who would like you will possibly understand, and 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 Robert Ramoni says it was Ramirez. S uh, yeah, Sarah Ramirez, I think, and uh, Miss uh, Mrs. Ramirez. And Harvey Dent says, uh, Robert Ramoni just hears the click and he says, "But I and." Harvey Dent erupted him and says, I said I couldn't hurt your chances. And so he flips the coin, and Robert Maroney is safe. He's, and Harvey Dent says, you're a lucky man. And he flips the coin out where if the driver gets his life safe or not. And he says, but he's not. And Robert says, who? And he says, your driver. And he fires the gun and and then the car flips over upside down. And yes, even though Harvey Dent survived because he has his seat buckle on for safety first. Yeah, he knows how to do car safety. I'm guessing Robert Maroney didn't have his seat belt on, so he was kind of flipped out as well. <laughs> And so, the Joker absolutely kidnapped a, um, um, how do I say, one of the, I can't believe he says, uh, one of the Gotham News crew, and he gives them a big update news, he's kind of dressed in clown makeup a little bit, or face paint, or clown makeup face paint, and he tells the people of Gotham, this city, this city is my, this city is mine. Come by tomorrow or come by tonight, right now. If not, get out now. But the, but the, but the, but the people are, but the Brit, the people from the bridge at the tunnel are waiting a surprise. Ha 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 ha. Which means the bombs are wired with explosives on the bridges, and there is no way off the island. Or some sort of part of Gotham's island, like like this one right here. So how in the world are they going to get off the island? If they try to cross over, the bridge, bridges are going to blow up, and they can never get out. So the only way to get out is by ferry. You know the big boats, the ferry boats. So he has no other choice 
but to go on to the ferry boats. I mean, the people of Gotham, including the criminals of, from Blackgate Prison. So, yeah, Blackgate. It is not looking good to the people, the citizens of Gotham and themselves. Why does it have to be this way? Because the Joker doesn't want to play fair. They want to have to bring the fear out of him. And so... Uh, people, the citizens of got there were like two boats, and then the, the one for the prisoners of Blackgate Prison, and the other, uh, the other, I would say, would be, oh my. It is not gonna go well. However, Remember that little sonar? Remember that little sonar that Batman uh, had, or Bruce Wayne, if you want to know? Of course, he doesn't say, Bruce Wayne! So, yeah. And he actually turned his, um, that Lucius box from what he gave to Bruce Wayne. He says he turned every cell phone into a sonar. That you can watch almost each and every one spying them of what they are doing. And Lucius Box says, This is wrong. And Batman says, Beautiful, isn't it? The key is null encrypted. I gotta find him, Lucius, before he hurts everyone else. Or anyone else. <clears throat> it says, Spot lying on 15 million people isn't part of my job description so and he says it's all too powerful for one man and Batman says that's why I'm giving it to you yeah he's giving it the whole thing to him he's and Lucius Fox says all right I'll help you on this one time but consider this as my resignation as long as this machine exists, I won't be. And Batman says, When you're done, type in your name. So, yeah. So, Lucius Fox is getting ready to work. So, yeah. He has to find the Joker and that because he's using a NOLA key, a NOLA key, a NOLA key encrypted that works for a special talk wave radio or a cell phone type only that no other GCPD would able to track him down so what he has to do now the only way to do is Batman is to how he's going to find him is a finding a needle in the haystack so, yeah. It's not going to be easy, but Batman knows how things are going to go so well. So, yeah. People on the ferries are... And then criminals on the other ferry. And then you hear this chilling message that... That the Joker speaks out of the speakers. He says, Citizens of Gotham and prisoners of Blackgate. Well you, well, you are about to be witness that you will go in through a test. Under the, these very boats contain with explosives. If both on both boats, I given you a device. Yeah, I mean, the... The, the captains were kind of surprised and said, oh my gosh, it's a detonator. Why would they give us a detonator to our own bomb? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, oh, if you one of you blows up the other boat, I'll let that other boat live. Oh, and you better make a decision fast. The other boat may not be quite so noble. 
yeah, and you have no idea how right he is. I mean, this is going to get very ugly. So, Batman wants to get any communications. He said, Batman says, there's, there's something going on with the ducks. And Lucius Fox says, the voice is on the ferry, but that's not the source. And he says, West! West, and he's going to West, and he finds the Joker somewhere on the Pruitt building. So he has SWAT, so the GCPD have SWAT officers. So what does Batman do? Simple. He uh, talks to Jim Gordon, and then he says we found, he founds the Joker, and he says it's the Pruitt building. So he has all the SWAT officers ready at the mark, and so they're ready to hurry, and then Bat, and then Batman says, "I gotta go in alone. There's something going wrong. The Joker doesn't play fair." Which he doesn't always play fair. He sees the hostages. He sees the ones who are tied up. He sees the ones who carry guns with assault rifles. Then he says, I need five minutes. Just five minutes to get the check out. And then Jim Gordon says, Then he'll blow both of them up. And he says, I have to save Harvey Dent. I get ready. Yeah, and he says, Two minutes. Then we preach. Okay, yeah. Uh, instead of five minutes, he says two minutes. Then he preaches. And then Batman tells Lucius, I need a reading. And said, and then he gets a good look around the Pruitt building. And then Batman gets a good look at the the one with the, who carrying the rifle. He's absolutely scared. He's like, what are you doing? I don't want to get shot. I don't want to live. I don't want to get shot. I want to live. I don't want to die. Thing. And Batman knew something's up. It seems like. Wait a second. The, why would these guns? Why would these people get scared all of a sudden? But they won't fire. Like, wait a minute. These these got. The, gu the guys with the assault rifles are the hostages. The ones who are wearing the doctor's uniforms are the bad guys which who worked with the Joker. So the Joker has kind of put a plot twist. Ooh, nobody didn't see that coming. Not even the SWAT team. So what does he have to do? Well, simple. He has to save the hostages or the ones who are carrying the assault rifles. And then the GCPD, the snipers are ready. They fire the shot. And Batman has to act quickly, stopping the sniper shot of the sniper rifles. And he has to save the lives for those who carry the assault rifles, who are the victims, which are the hostages. The ones who are victims were, that are pretending to be hostages are the bad guys. So, yeah. A plot twist. This is why the Joker doesn't play fair. He wants them to play in fear. And... Of course, both parties wanted to live. Only one has to get blown up in a fiery explosion, and the other boat lives. Of course, everybody's scared to press the detonator. Do they? Are they? Are the people of Gotham and the pr prisoners of Blackgate are stronger than the Joker? They want to. Uh, they're gonna find out. Everybody wants to find out if. The citizens of Gotham and the prisoners uh, of, of Blackgate are stronger than they realize because they don't want to give in to the fear that the Joker is absolutely trying so hard in his best that fear is a weapon. So... And, oh boy. And it goes to show you... It's going to not be pretty. Of course, the intense music, get, uh, it's just the music of Hans Zimmer and James Newton Howard is just going to get tenser and tenser and intensifies. Yeah. So, Batman has to rescue the ones who are 
the hostages carrying the assault rifles has to stop the SWAT team. Of course, the SWAT team had no idea. They thought the ones, the hostages are the ones who are being taken hostage by the ones who are carrying the assault rifles, but it's not. So, yeah. Until later on, they're going to have to get the, the, the information that, that truth comes out. And finally, the SWAT team of GCPD finally understand that this is a ho that this is a twist they finally realize it 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 the the one the hostages are the bad guys and not the ones who are carrying the assault rifles i see some are carrying the guns with the assault rifles and they got them arrested finally what took them so long thanks to batman which finally got themselves straight Oh boy, another tw plot twist by the Joker. And yes, and now the Batman has finally caught up with the Joker. And he says, where's the remote detonator and, and all that. And he says, go get him! But that says the Joker. And then he goes attack and get, he sends out these Rottweiler dogs who likes to bite hard. But thanks to Batman's armor. It uh, protects him from Rottweilers and Chihuahuas. Should do fine against cats. <laughs> it, which is, which is cool. And so, yay! And so for that. And and now he got he has to immobilize the, put down the Chihuahuas, even though he has to. Oh my, why? This, why me? I mean, really? Why uh, Chihuahuas? Or, I mean, the Rottweilers. So, yeah. Things are gonna go so well for him. And now that, and now that the question's out of the way, the people of Gotham are now being tested upon. And... And one of them says, "Don't uh, they don't want to get their hands dirty. So one man stands up and says, Nobody wants to press the detonator? Fine. Then I will. They kill and murder and steal. They got their chance because that's what they deserve. And, and the captain hands out the detonator. But is he willing to do it? Are the peop and, and one of the guy, one of the prisoners of Blackgate he says, you don't want to die. You don't know how to take a life. Give it to me. And I should have, and, and I'll tell, and I should have done from what you did ten minutes ago. So he hands him, the officer, one of the patrolmen or the guards, hands the detonator, and guess what? He tosses it out! Out of the window! Because I think the people of Gotham deserve better. And he feels like the prisoners deserve to die on the ferry boat because they had their chance. But, and then this tense music and he says, uh, tells the Joker to Batman and says, You gotta see the fireworks, it's gonna be big. And Batman says, There won't be any fireworks. And the Joker says, And here we go. You hear, and yeah. And all of a sudden, you hear this, this tense music. And it's like, like, um, yeah, it, get, it, it gets really tensified. It's like, wow. That's how scary the mu, that's, that's how scary the music gets. I mean, it's like, oh wow, you you like you have the you you got this feeling on your feet. Is he gonna press the detonator? And no, he will not. And the music keep on intensifying. It's just wow. It's just oh my. It's just it. And Batman says, "What are you trying to prove?" You're alone. Nobody can prove it. 
Everybody prove that no one's gonna fear, fear by being afraid by an ugly clown or some sort. And the Joker says, You can't trust anybody these days. You got to do everything yourself. That's okay. I got this. I always come prepared. It's a funny world we live in. And he says, oh yeah, you know where I got these scars? And he tells this Batman the story of the joke. And he says, no, but I know you got these. Fires the gauntlets out of these, uh, out, out from these, like, these bad rings. I don't know how it's called. Pretty awesome. And then hits the Joker. The Joker laughs. And, and then Batman fires this grappling hook on Joker's leg, and then, and he laughs and said, Ah, ah, you just caught and let me die, can you? You know what? I think you and I are destined forever to, to fight with each other. He says, You'll be in a jail cell forever. Yeah, what? Well, I think we could share one. Until... Gotham gets a good look at the real true Harvey Dent. He says, What? Like, the Joker keeps on talking to him. You didn't think I want to go on a mismatch, on a fight against with you? No. You want, you got an ace in the hole. Mine's Harvey. And Batman said, What did you do? And Bat and the Joker said, I took Gotham's white knight and I bring him down to our level. Wasn't hard. Y you see, madness is like gravity. All you need is a little all you just need is a little push. <laughs> Yeah, uh, madness is like gravity, to be honest, in real life. So, yeah, he brought the, the Joker brought Harvey Dent, who's known as Two-Face, to his level, including as well as Batman. And so, yeah, he left, and now the GCPD will finally arrest the Joker completely and he will never take the lives of citizens and prisoners ever again and and you know oh yeah I forgot one thing I left out um now an eerie phone call that came to Jim Gordon and it was his wife and he hears the phone call and it, and it was Harvey Dent's voice and it says why are you taking my family and he says we're my family Died, and he hangs up the phone, and and he talks to one of the um, and now that Harvey Dent gets one of the officers whose name is Officer Ramirez, and she tells um Harvey uh, tells Harvey and tells uh, to uh, call him Jim's wife and says you must go to the uh, to fifty fifty second Street. I'll call them off in ten minutes, and then don't trust anyone and all that. So yeah. It was, uh, Harvey Dent doesn't like, don't, doesn't like knockoffs or people, those who work with the GCPD by thinking to fight what is right, even though they are afraid because they are scared of doing so. It was not going to go well with, with both sides. And so now you're about to face the Dark Knight and a standoff. And it's going very soon. And so for that, Jim Gordon has to hurry up and he has to race the clock. He has to go to 5052nd Street. And he was being hit from behind and it's another other than Harvey Dent. And so, and and then and Harvey Dent says this is where the this is where the part of where Harvey Dent died. So, yeah. It, uh, and you thought this is how it happened. This is how the Joker died from when he's not being shown in the second movie. So, this 
is how it happened. This is how Two-Face died. So, explaining a handoff, and he said, so he chooses which one does he love the most? His wife? His daughter? His son? So, he chooses his son, but in a, in a bar, Jim's wife is kind of going crying and completely hysterical. He doesn't want his son to to die, and this and he knows he is sorry for everything because you don't have to point the gun at him or all that. And now Batman says, "You don't have to do this, Harvey." I know that Batman is obsessed with a number two. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, and Harvey and uh, Harvey Dent slash Two Face says, "It's not what I want. It's about what's there." It said, "You, we, you and I were a team. We're in an indecent moment and an indecent time." And and Batman says, "What if?" What if it wasn't chance? What if we act? What if we act on what we did instead of getting chance? Because you were the best of us. Then what? Because the Joker chose me! Because he was the best out of Jim Gordon and Batman. He was the best that Gotham has to offer. He is Gotham's white knight. And the Joker brought him down to his level as, along with Batman's. And he says, and he says, don't point at the gun to the sun. So he says, so point to the gun. Who are responsible for this? And Harvey Dent says, all right, you first. He flips the coin, and he was unlucky. And he shoots him and falls down to the ground. And you hear this, this tensely music like somber and dark and feeling kind of sudden suspense music of the music of Hans Zimmer and James Newton Howard like oh wow you think that music over from the fairies is good this gets even better oh my it's like the tense music you can feel it that's creeping down into your cold shivering spine is like oh my OMG this is this is so scary, and this is so intensifying. It's like, who's going to die for the flip of a coin? Harvey Ted lives, even though he flips a coin, and now his son's turn is next. And he says, why don't you tell him to lie? Lie, like I did. Just as you tell Rachel that everything's going to be all right. And yeah, he tells him everything's gonna be alright to his son and flips the coin, but then all of a sudden BAM! Batman came up, comes out of nowhere and down they go like thirty feet or forty feet and <coughs> that is the end of Harvey Dent Two Face. And guess what? Where the coin lands He gets to live. Harvey Dent slash Two-Face is gone. And he saves his son. Jim Gordon rescues his son out of... Takes the son's hands from the grasp of Batman. Batman falls down on the floor with Harvey. Even though he wanted to get... Well, I don't know why he did that. Even if he wanted to die. But I'm guessing he didn't. Which he survived! You want to know why he survived? Because he's Batman! You guys walked right into that one, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, you walked into that one, didn't, didn't you? Or did I? Okay, and... And, Bruce, and Jim Gordon was going to call for an ambulance, and he says, Wait! And he says, I'm alright. And... And Jim Gordon said something to Batman. He says, The Joker took the best of Harvey Dent and what's left of him. He won.
people people will lose hope. Five dead. Two of them cops. It says people will lose hope. The people must never know what he did. And then uh, here comes this interesting question. Even though and Batman says Gotham will always have a white knight. Even though the and the Joker can never win. Yeah, even though the Joker has won the war, has won the battle, he did he lost the he, even though he won the battle and part of the war, however, he cannot win. Even though that because he lost one thing that of that something from Gotham. The citizens and the prisoners of Blackgate. They were a lot stronger than the Joker realized. Yeah. The Joker lose. So guess what? Denied! And so for that. And then finally Batman says to... I didn't. Joker does not win. I didn't stop those men because I'm no hero. I kill those people. And it, and and Batman says, "Call them." And then, and Jim Gordon says, "I will hunt you." And Batman says, "You'll hunt me down. Sick the dogs on me." And now he's going to start running. He starts running. Running to his bat pod. And he's going to go running to the bat pod and he made it. Even though he's kind of injured during that fall, he is running. And his one of it and his and Jim Gordon's son says, "Why is he running?" And Jim Gordon says, "Because we have to. We have to chase him." And his son says, but he didn't do anything wrong. I know, son. He's not... He's not a vigilante. He's not a hero. He has got... He has got the finest, bravest... Hero. An eyeful watcher. The Dark Knight. And the music ends in a sudden twist, and there the music begins with the credit says, The Dark Knight. And I do believe that is the end of the story movie of The Dark Knight of Christopher Nolan. Thanks for watching, and... Tell me, what do you guys think of the Dark Knight movie? What, do you like it or hate it? And mash that like button if you guys seen the Batman of the Dark Knight trilogy movies. Or tell me, which is your favorite Batman movie of all time? Could be in the with Michael Keaton movies or the movies of Batman Forever, Batman and Robin, the ba Dark Knight trilogy movies, or... Yes, BBS is going to count since Batman's in it, including Justice League. So for anyways, uh, yes, and the other movies like Batman, Son of Robin, and the and Batman, Bad Blood, and Justice League Dark. So for anyways, thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And tell me, who uh, is, what is your favorite? Okay, I mean, you know. So anyways, this is Leo Wolverine saying and speaking as always as your sensational special being who takes chances, makes mistakes, and get messy in Leo's Let's Plays Alliance. Godspeed, play safe, and shalom. Remember... The Dark Knight is always watching you. See you guys next time for more of Arkham Twin Day.